What's going on, Cine Pals? I am Andrew Flash Gordon, and I am joined by my co-host, Courtney Scott Wright. Hello, hello. And we are here to react to Smile. And if you are watching this on you exactly, I hope you <laughs> smiled when I said that was that was your cue. Anyways, if you are watching this on YouTube, you will get a cut down version of our reactions. We can only show you a limited amount of picture in picture of the film. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us without any cuts or interruptions, please head on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash jabbykway or become a member of this channel. You will get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own copy of the film so you can sync up with us. But don't worry, we make it really easy for you. For those of you watching on Patreon or memberships already, we thank you so much for your kindness and support. You guys are truly the best. For those of you watching on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and smash the like button so you can let YouTube know that you are enjoying what you're watching. You ready to watch, Courtney? I'm a little bit ready, but I just want to say I, I don't really watch scary movies, so this is a big deal for me. I didn't me. even know this was a scary I know nothing about this movie. You just ruined the surprise. I'm just, well, no, I'm just hey... Sir, research is your friend. Ah, uh, that's true. I should have I should have researched what we were watching. Smile, commence. Wow, that's not an ominous and creepy way to start a film. Man, all the kids made it. Oh, daddy's not in that photo. Yeah, it was an inter that was a good observation, yeah. Whoa! Getting ready for our jump scares. I'm gonna die. Nobody matters. She doesn't matter. He doesn't matter. She doesn't matter. Mom doesn't matter. Nothing ever matters. She could yeah, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna is that the dad? Maybe the brother? I, I don't know. <laughs> I think you're having another manic episode. Don't. You don't know. I feel it. All around me. It's squeezing. That what you're experiencing feels real, but it can't hurt you. Hey, did you send a patient named, uh... Sarah Marquette over to residency. Ah, Calpan. My name is Dr. Cotter. I'm a therapist. Do you want to sit down? Okay. And shouldn't there be somebody in there with her? For protection. That's okay. Yeah. Just for a witness. Take a breath and you could just tell me what's going on. I'm seeing something. What is it you're seeing? It looks like people, but it's, it's not a person. It's, it's like it wears people's faces like like masks. Okay. What happens when you do see it? It's smiling at me. <laughs> but not a friendly smile. It's the worst smile I've ever seen in my life. And whenever I see it, I just got awful feeling like something really terrible. I've never felt scared like I do when I see it. Sometimes I awkwardly laugh when I'm nervous. <laughs> it told me that t today's the day that I'm, g I'm gonna... Okay, that's okay. Sometimes when we get emotionally overwhelmed or experience an intense trauma, our minds... You're not listening to me! Oh my god! Laura, mm. hey, can you look at me, please? <gasps> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What? Whoa. Ha. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> oh god. Uh. bad enough when someone takes her on life like that but they're smiling like the joker just infected them with toxins oh this is an emergency psychiatric unit typical is not really a thing here right but she was a head case yeah i'm sorry a head case those aren't clinical words sir yeah gotta be a little more pc trying to get your opinion of her mental state 
She was having paranoid delusions. What kind of delusions? She was convinced that some sort of evil presence was haunting her. Yikes. <laughs> that guy. Contact Miss Weaver's family and attempt to explain what happened. Before she died, she was smiling. Oh my God. Wow. That's a haunting image. Oh God. No! Oh! Yeah, that house would be being burnt down by me right now. Oh, hell no. Rose. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, A train. Yeah, from the boys. Yeah. Yesterday, that patient, Laura Weaver, the police had sent in a report about a different incident that she was involved in. Can you get that forwarded to me? They took her down to a medicine to have her stomach pumped. Why does her cup have a smile on it? Oh, right. I just noticed that. Uh... <laughs> Uh. Oh, this is from the commercial. Uh, oh, I never saw the trailer. Oh, you never saw the trailer? No, I've never, never heard of this movie till today. Hey, Carl. How you feeling today? <laughs> Carl. She's gonna die. I'm gonna die. Everybody die. Carl, look at me. You're going to die. He was aggressive, acting psychotic. You're going to take a paid week off. Morgan, that's really not necessary. You've been working 80 hour weeks for months. 80 hours a week? First, if you just take a week and clear your head. Just do what you gotta do and come back focused, okay? I mean, you get a paid week off, so it's not like the end of the world, but... Right, but I mean... The, well, I guess the end of the world could be that you have to deal with this creature now and you're paid week off. Fuck! <laughs> My heart is resumed again. God, <laughs> stop with the phone calls. Wait, she wasn't even holding the phone? Oh, shit. What's your favorite scary movie, Rose? <laughs> Security, may I have your name and the passcode? Oh, my God. Phone calls scaring the crap out of me. Alarms. We did a full sweep inside and out. It's all clear. Uh, what about the... Back door. Is it possible it wasn't fully latched last time it was closed? I, I don't know, maybe. Mm -hmm. Hey, I wouldn't worry about it. These false alarms just... happen all the time. If anything else comes up, you can give us a call. Mustache? We need a close-up of the cat food. I literally don't remember doing it. I must have just like said it by accident or something. It's just the sound of cat food. It's just... Glurpy. You see if you could find Mustache? I haven't seen him like, anywhere oh, at God. all. Oh, God. Yeah. Please be okay. I don't... told you Mustache wasn't going to make it. And don't jump scare us, Mustache. Oh, is the cat going to be smiling? Oh, was that her mother? Oh, at the her beginning. Her and her Yeah. Possibly. Because huh? they kept talking about selling the house. Oh, she's going to be obsessed now. Oh, my God. No! 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 It's an eval, too. I need staff here now. Hurry. Did hear a... <sighs> Laura? That. She's going to amplify the sound, and we're going to get jump scared. Jesus. <laughs> that was genuine, you guys, I promise. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Oh my god, that's getting 
<laughs> uh, I'm definitely not surviving this movie without a heart attack. That, guys, I promise you that was legitimately genuine uh, yell on both our parts. Oh, my God. Oh, man. It wasn't so much the blood. I just feel like I've gotten stuck on it. I can't, you know, get it out of my head. Have you considered the reason you feel stuck could actually be more about your mother? Okay, so it was at the beginning of her mother. Mm -hmm. If you want my advice, use this time to do something different. Anything that will take your mind off the triggers that are causing you stress. What about the Risperdal? Just, you know... (laughs) Let's talk again next week before we consider any medication. I assume as a doctor, you can't write a prescription for yourself, I would have guessed. No, oh yeah, you can't. But I mean, look at her. You can still, something is, I mean, you should have given her something. Even if you didn't give her the drug she asked for, yeah. you should have given her. Like, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. This music is really freaking me out. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's something wrong in that box. Ooh, that one's from Aunt Rose. Does that look, oh, but no. does that look too small to be a cat? <laughs> oh, God, it is. Yep. Yep. What'd you get, sweetheart? <laughs> He's like, um... No! A mustache. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> Told you. You called it, unfortunately. Is that many bleeds? You believe me? Why did the little boy pick it up, though? <laughs> His face, though. Um, I don't know what to do with it. Oh! What the? Wait, I wasn't looking. What happened? What happened? The smiley face girl was right in front of her face and then she just fell back. <laughs> oh, there's some emotion. Hey, Rose. <laughs> oh, she's not getting that job back. Rose, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm concerned. And I, I mean this as your friend, but I really think you should speak to someone. Are you seeing anybody professionally right now? I mean, that's your sister. Holly is the worst. Uh oh. Uh oh. No pain is smiling. Her sister's a jerk. I'm not crazy, okay? (laughs) Okay. (laughs) His face. I I don't really know what it is. I'm just really scared that something bad is going to happen. He is terrified. Uh, yeah. I want you to believe me. Rose, you're talking about f***ing ghost. No, 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 it's not. It's not a ghost. It's something else. Okay. I can't believe he brought her home. I am not crazy! Sorry. Sorry. But it's genetic, isn't it? Uh, oh, what a dick move. Mental illness. Oh, God. You can inherit it from a parent. I looked it up. Well, a train. He's definitely A train. I wanted to know what I was potentially hitching my entire life to. Is that so fucking unfair? Wow. That was not me. Then tell me, what happened to him? Trevor, please. Please. There's just no way to convince someone no, to believe you of that. No. Like they have to see it for themselves. Oh, God. Why? Why? Not the open closet, please. Jabby's going to kill me because I'm so not sitting up. (laughs) It's understandable for this film. I love haunted houses, but they are nothing in comparison to this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
I don't think it's possible to get sleep at this point for if you're her. At first, I noticed small changes in him. I would catch him having these conversations with himself. He was just so, seeing things. So who died in front of him, I wonder? That night, the police called and told me he was dead. They asked me to identify his body. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Describe the things that he was seeing. I'll show you. Oh, my God. Please don't show us. Guys, sorry for all the talking during the movie, but I, we feel it helps break tension during a crazy horror film like this. I should take it all down, but... Yeah, you really I should. I can't stand being in here. Oh, my God. I'm going to have nightmares. Me, too. I was just thinking the exact same thing. This is what Gabriel said he saw. So, so far, we've only seen him possessing other th people or showing memories, but oh, my God. That is Gabriel's brother. He died in an accident 20 years ago. Gabriel never got up. Do you think her mom was killed by the smile? What kind of reporter are you? Mrs. Munoz, your husband was not insane. What are you, a f***ing nutcase? Give me the name! Get the f*** out of my house! <sighs> Definitely going to her ex-boyfriend now. Because now she needs a cop. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but uh, people don't call anymore. You're not going to send a text like I'm coming. All right, what was his name again? Gabriel Munoz. He gave a witness statement. He was staying at a hotel where a woman committed. Okay, um, and what was her name, the woman? He's like, what the hell am I? What? What is it? Oh, the body. It's a picture from the scene. Let me see it. No, no, no. Look, you don't want to see this. This is, this is like evidence. Or just, you know, have at it. Oh my God! Ooh, 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 ooh. Told you it was gross. I need you to do the same search again, but this time on her, the woman Angela. Can you please tell me what this is all about? Joel, you said you weren't going to ask me any questions. No, you asked him. There was a previous report filed four days before her death. It's a weird coincidence. She was also interviewed about it. Oh, so you're right. Yeah, it's, it's, every time someone witnesses, it just gets passed to the next person. Mm-hmm. Oh no, oh no, 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 God, wow. Okay, I'm glad we saw it from that angle. My day was going just fine. He rewinded. Uh, what? No. Is he smiling? She's like, I am so screwed. Rose, where are you going? What is going on here? I'm so confused right now. Can you do me one more favor? Do you have a printer? I'll give this movie this. It really builds on tension. What is this? What is she doing here? I wanted to see how you were doing. I was talking to my fiance. I called her. Why? Really? You've been acting completely unhinged. I, I, and I, I didn't know what else to do. Are you kidding me? You just think about how it's gonna fuck up your whole little perfect life plan. Oh, are you serious right now? Rose, are you actually leaving right now? I mean, I get where she's coming from and, and in the state of mind she's in, I understand again, but it's like, no one's going to believe you. How are you? My eyes are open now. I have been cursed. Okay. Uh, That's just not going to sound right. No, look, Holly, I know it's so hard to believe. And it was really difficult for me to believe it at first either. But look, look at this. Look. Oh, you can't just show oh, that I to don't. people. Okay, you were having some sort of a... A breakdown. You're not hearing me. You are not hearing me. This is exactly what happened to mom. I really think that the entity got at their mom. How the f would you know that? 
Mm. I'm sorry, what? You were never around when mom got bad. Where the f were you when she died? You have no idea what you're talking about. You know what? I, I, I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this with you. You've completely traumatized Jackson, okay? <laughs> I can't have you around while you're like this. Yeah, Jackson's never going to have a birthday party again. Uh, oh, well, if he does, who's coming? Exactly. Like, uh, is the aunt coming? Please don't be smiling. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god, this movie with the heart attacks. <laughs> oh, poor baby. He's like, um, Mom, can I never see my aunt ever again, please? These cases? This same pattern, it goes back further. So far, I found 20 cases involving 19 side victims with a direct line linking them all together. A week later, the key eyewitness to the murder also committed Pattern resumes. So when you, is it when you witness? He's sitting and holding in Altoona. Joel, I gotta talk to him. But well, he killed somebody else in order to like, oh, get to, out of to dying. get out, uh, yeah, yeah. So instead of killing himself, he killed somebody else. Let's just put aside the possibility that some sort of evil, extraordinary force could even exist. So it's kind of, it's kind of like the, the, the guy on yes. the, the security yes, camera yes, footage. Yes, exactly like that. Oh my god. At least someone believes her. Yeah. How long was it between each victim's death? Four days or less than that. None of them survived longer than a week. Oof. But jo but Gabriel Martinez made it nine days. Oh oh, N Nunez or Nunez Munez. Munez. Yeah. Oh, this scene is gonna be so freaky. Well, Tally's a whole box of Fruit Loops, so good luck. And look, you only got ten minutes with him. Okay, it's the best I could do without a court order. Appreciate. Oh, God, this scene is going to give me nightmares. Mr. Tally, my name is Dr. Rose Cotter. What I need to know is what you experienced in the days. Oh. Four days ago, a man killed himself right in front of her. Something. Oh, God. Something that pretends to be other people. He claimed that he was seeing the exact same thing. What the f*** do you want from me, huh? What is it? I don't know. I don't know. Why is it that everybody else who's seen it is dead and you're alive? Why, please? Mr. Tally, you can help her, okay? Please. Make the cop leave. Mm -mm. Not gonna happen, pal. Make him leave. You already confessed? What's he gonna do? The outside. Right? She about to be in the cell next to where he was, cause he's about to die. I tried to research anything and everything I could about this thing. There's been other chains in the past. Found one that was in Brazil a few years ago. Oh. A man there escaped that chain by killing his neighbor and passing it to his neighbor's wife. Oh, no. Your patient is going to die unless she kills someone. That's the only way you can get rid of it. Oh. The only way. She has to make sure there's a witness for it to pass too, because this thing needs trauma to spread. Oh God. Make the biggest mess she can. I can't kill someone! <laughs> oh god. I have chills down my spine. Why the f did you come here? You're not giving it back to me! You brought it back in here. I don't blame the guy for reacting like that. I would Me too. The same thing. Like, dude, I murdered someone to get away from this thing. You bring it back to me? Oh. The music in this movie is chilling. Ah! Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, I can't look at that. I can't look at it. I 
think you should go. Rose, we both know I have a responsibility to notify the authorities if you're a danger to yourself or others. I need you to help convince me you're not a danger. Oh my God. This, uh, Hope she doesn't pass it on to her. What? Rose, it's Madeline. I've been trying your mobile all morning. Who's Madeline? I'm very the her. Concerned about how we left things yesterday. Oh, 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 her. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Therapist. Oh, shit. Hello. No. 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 Almost time, Rose. Ooh, shit. Where the fuck are you? Oh, shit. She's not funny. They're not funny anymore. Sure, when they said to the oh, actors, down, down the, down the, oh shit, down the stairs. Sure there's they, no one there, so it's not gonna kill her now. <laughs> That's giving me an Aliens Three vibe. Wish there was a way she could def like defeat it without having to kill herself or having to pass it on. She was literally in the wrong place at the wrong time with that girl patient at the mm -hmm. beginning. It's the same room. With that guy who was smiling at the beginning. Carl. Hi. It's okay. No. It's okay. No, 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 no. He knows what's what's in her. Rose, what are you doing here? I don't know. She gonna try and kill him? On patience. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! Oh no! Oh shit! She did pass it to Cal Penn. And nobody's stopping yeah, her? Yeah, what? What is happening? Why does this not look real? Oh. Oh, what? shit! Oh, wow. My God. I don't, don't even know what's real or what's not real anymore in this film. I was like, why is this not stopping? Nobody's stopping her? Rose, I don't think you should be alone right now. I need, I need to be alone. I need to be, I need to be alone. See? This is, what I, this is what I said. She has to be alone. Listen, Rose, I don't think you should go anywhere, okay? You just relax. I'm gonna make a phone call, all right? No! Rose, don't go anywhere! Rose, please. Please don't go anywhere. I hope she didn't run somebody over. Yeah, who would she hit with her car? Oh my God, it's heart attack heaven in this movie. She's going to her mother's house. I'm telling you, the house she didn't want to sell. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's got to be where she's going. Yeah, I nobody else it. would know about that except maybe the ex-boyfriend, the or cop. The, and the sister. Oh my God. Courtney, you know the nearest hospital around here if I have a heart attack, right? Um. I feel like we're going to be saying that towards every direction she goes from now on. I can't believe Trevor made it this long. I'm not going to lie. A train. Yeah. Oh, interesting transition. Oh shit. oh, shit. Interesting transition where she finds her mom. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Huh. You only made a mistake. Please don't smile. 
Because if, um, she didn't do anything. Why she look like Chucky, though? Yeah, uh, like the hairs on the back of my neck are standing right I now. I know, man. I'm just like, uh, she gonna burn the house down? Oh, there's a flashlight. Go into your car. Your phone has one. Just saying. Old school light. A kerosene light, really? I could see the then house you have burnt. some kerosene? You have better luck having batteries than kerosene in that lamp still. Oh, man. Come on. The movie almost over. I would imagine we're getting close. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Come on. Hey, guys. We, we scare very easily, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh. Oh, regular, normal self. No, it's the mom. It's okay, baby. Don't trust it. Come here. Hell no. Where are your pants? Oh, she really does look like... I hate myself. Stop. 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 Are you ashamed of me? And why did you let me die? Why didn't you save me? That's not my fault. You could have called for help. Stop. Oh, God. Oh, God. I have to let it go. I have to let it go. Oh, that face. Oh, God. It just became scarier. This is not real. But, Rose, your mind makes it real. Uh. you. Why are you doing this to me? It's so inviting. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess that's the real self. Yeah. It's like a freaky Freddy Krueger laugh. She defeated it, but I feel like that was too easy. Yeah. Although she did break her cycle of trauma. I mean, yeah, true, true. And you know, the end credit, the end scene's gonna have some kind of <laughs> jump scared. Holy shit. Are you okay? Guess he didn't come. <laughs> I met you, and I could feel those walls coming down. I was selfish, and that was not fair to you. Okay, so oh my you god, I thought that didn't. was the music. <laughs> it was you moving your mic. <laughs> could you stay with me while I sleep? I'll stay with you forever. Oh, shit! <laughs> Is this how it ends? I hope she doesn't pass it on to Joel. Oh, she was still in the house. Oh, oh shit. Whoa. 
I don't even know what's real anymore. Rose! No! He did show up! I thought that was weird. Is it still burning inside? I'm so confused. No. I was gonna say, he's gotta be the worst cop ever to just not show up. Yeah, but he won't be able to see it. No, he'll just see her kill herself. Yeah. And there it is. The gas. She's gonna set herself on fire. Oh. Don't look! Don't look, Joel! Aw, oh, damn! Damn, poor Joel. Close your eyes, Joel! Close your eyes! Joel, look away! Damn it, Joel! Joel, you literally knew better. Oh, lolly, lolly, lolly. Okay, Courtney, what'd you think of smile? Don't smile at me. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, anytime someone smiles at me now in the future, I'm gonna have um, flashbacks to this. Um, what do I think? I thought the the scares were pretty solid. I don't know. I mean, at first, listen, I automatically laugh when I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> like I said, Pennywise and it. Mm -hmm. makes me laugh every single time, no matter what. And I started to feel that way at the beginning of this movie. As it continued on and we started to care more about uh, Rose. Rose, you know, it definitely got me at the time, at the points when it was supposed to. What about you? Well, first of all, scare-wise, I mean, I was terrified I wasn't smiling. Normally, Courtney and I, we, we like to talk a little bit commentary-wise during the film. Obviously, we don't like to get to a, a level of too much talking, but for this type of film, sorry guys, it's a scary movie. We're, we, you know, we got to break the tension a little bit. So we just wanted to clarify that. Story-wise, I, I, I thought there were some really interesting beats. I did like the character of Rose. I mean, I thought this film was, I mean, obviously it's a horror film, but I also thought it was a very psychological film. I really, again, this is just my opinion, I'm not saying it's the right answer. I really thought it would have been interesting too if we hadn't seen uh, you know, the entity at all. Um, or not at all, but rather in the first, like, even half of the film. So then we can really go, oh my god, is Rose, like, is she really just losing her mind? Or is there actually some smiley entity thing? I, I think that might have been an interesting route, too. But again, that's just me, like, hyperventilating about something that I, I feel like could have added to the psychological aspects to the film. Personally, I wasn't, I'm not saying that makes the film weak or anything, but I wasn't personally crazy about the ending of how it ended and then it was passed on to Joel. It's just personally not for me. But again, if y'all love that, Totally cool. I respect that. Given the fact that they kind of told you at the beginning of the movie that this is what's going to happen. So that for me is that you told me at the beginning this was going to happen and then it actually happened. So it was kind of anticlimactic at the end. I do like the fact that the hero didn't win per se. Like usually there is that whole like she saves the day at the end or somebody, sure. somebody rescues her or she defeats the entity. In that respect, it did break the mold in the sense of like, mm -hmm. it told you what was gonna happen in the beginning and it happened. So it's kind of a catch 22. I don't know how I feel about it just yet. I am a little annoyed that Joel didn't close his eyes. I mean, you literally know what this is. So I don't know if in Smile 2, he's gonna defeat the entity because like, I don't know. I, was, is, I guess I was a little annoyed. Is it? Is it? Is have they announced that? No, they're... I did like the way that this movie built. Like that, it built the suspense. It, it built. Did. It started from the problem at the beginning. It set it up, and then it, the way that the scares came out. Even though they were predictable, I totally knew and called that mustache was in the little train box. I felt bad for the little seven-year-old boy. Not gonna lie. In that way, like you said, it was predictable. Did you see mustache was coming in the box? I mean, I was 
thinking it, but I was hoping that wasn't going to happen. I didn't want to speak it into existence. But in regards to what you just said about Joel, I agree with you. He should have had his eyes closed. But on the flip side, this is the woman he adores, loves, and cares for. Well, it wasn't the smart decision. Sometimes love can blind us to making smart decisions. And in this case, like it's a traumatic situation. The woman he's obsessed with, loves, cares for more than anything in the world, is about to light herself on fire and is smiling like a psychotic thing with this entity inside of her. That didn't bother me as much as you, but I, I get why that bothered you. I get it. He, it was a low IQ decision. I can't defend that. You know, it was in the sense of it being a psychological thriller. I, I wish that the entity would have had a deeper reasoning. It was almost like unfair that she got this resolution with the guilt she was feeling about her mom's death yeah. only to have the entity still toy with her yeah. and her thinking that she got away that she defeated him that yeah. she got away only to, for the entity to really be stalling so that Joel could get there if it would have killed her and Joel was not there, or anyone was not there it can't pass on the trauma to someone right. else so, it, right. so I think well that's also why too at the very beginning with Laura Weaver when we see her with Rose so that she could pass it on to Rose or to someone uh, so I mean right. yeah. just so like the her teacher so the, passed so, it on to her so the, yeah so the, uh, the train could continue I did like the actor, the one who found out, you know, did the research just like, I guess, a better job than she did because he found out about the chain in Brazil. How to break the chain. Exactly. How to break the chain and... <laughs> Or pa I love pass it. on the train. How to pass, pass it on, it on and without, yeah. Right. I loved his reaction. Like, you brought it in here. That was really powerful acting. <laughs> it really too. Was. It, you could buy, like, just from his acting right there, like, okay, this guy has clearly dealt with this thing. In her dream, when he came in mm -hmm. and he pulled his face back, that's really what would have happened. I wish she would have paid attention in the sense of, like, she had already seen that happen. At the very end, when the thing pulled its face off, it literally did that in the dream. Yeah, it was kind of like a foreshadow. It was kind of like a foreshadow. How he's going to invade her body kind exactly. of thing. Exactly. You know? So I, I kind of wish she would have remembered that. I, and I agree with you. I think at that point she's just doesn't know what's reality anymore and like what to believe or I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying you know to get what? inside her head. I don't know. I think it would have been a stronger pass along if she had decided to kill herself alone in the house. I would have been before okay. Before the yeah. entity like had a chance to kill her. If she had killed herself and in, in the house and then Joel just happened to drive up and see her dying then that's out of her control i would have been okay with that and actually i was thinking that, that that's possibly the route because then she at least stops know, the, tra yeah. the train from going or the chain however you want to call it and she literally even though she doesn't survive which obviously we didn't want that to happen of course but she stops the chain the train whatever from invading another like moving she on thought to the, she did yeah yeah if she died with her clear conscience thinking that she ended it i think that would have been a, a stronger ending mm -hmm. you were wrong about one thing trevor survived Trevor did survive. I was wrong about two things. Yeah. I totally thought that her boyfriend cheated on her, and that was my bad. I thought, I just, th I thought that, too, the way so they said it So I apologize. Yeah. You know, I just autumn, I was just reading into, like, the soap opera of it all. You know what I mean? Not that he looked guilty. I'm just saying. Again, look, good scares, uh, really sinister music. I actually thought so. Uh, this is my first introduction to Sozie Bacon, Kevin Bacon, and yeah. uh, Kira Sedwick's daughter. Yeah, outside I, of that commercial and, with her dad. I mean, the worst times were, you know, she didn't emote like we wanted to. And the, but there were other times where she did but I thought this was a very challenging role just from the perspective of there's so many scenes where she's just got to imagine things around her and for an actor and an actress like that's a tough proposition and I thought she did a really convincing job because I was getting freaked out with her so I thought she did a really good job in this film piggybacking off of that point and going back to the point that I made earlier is like when I said do you have an emotion she did do a really good job because it was her character mm. and then she explained that at the end how she tried not to feel how she yeah. put walls up, how she didn't want to connect to anyone. True. So that totally explained why she was so closed off yeah. throughout the beginning of the movie. And then ultimately up until she couldn't contain her feelings anymore. True that. So I thought that she ultimately knowing all of that and seeing the culmination of that journey, I thought she did a great y job. Yeah, no, that makes more sense. Yeah. Where, yeah, why she's so closed off and obviously the traumatic uh, past history that she's gone through. But she was, also called Trevor yeah. out on his, on his ish and it was absolutely true because the minute he came in we saw him for the first time I was like first of all this guy you chose him because he does feel nothing and you were safe 
in his nothingness. You still got to be a supportive fiance, husband, boyfriend, whatever in that situation, but it's so hard to believe. If like us as the audience, if we hadn't actually seen this thing and weren't witnessing with it, it's hard. But obviously Joel, like you said, he, he had the evidence and all that other stuff. So Joel did choose to believe in her and that's the difference between him and Trevor. So, but yeah, you make a good point of why she would choose to run to a man like Trevor. Although I still thought Jesse T. Usher did a great job in the film, but... Uh, I thought he was Adrian. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right, Adrian, no, I'm right. just saying, he there, literally there did play go. a different character. In terms of the sister and what you said about like it being a delicate, like totally truthful, she had to be a mom and want to protect her son and given the fact that her sister did show up with a dead cat in the box that was supposed to be a gift. <laughs> totally understand that. And yes, she had to be a mom first because he's seven. Mm. But I do think still that at some point tried to find out what was wrong with her sister. Fair point. Not Fair necessarily point. like obviously just I'm going to like care for but l at least try to in some way like you are now her obviously this woman needs a caregiver yeah. so uh, like whether or not you have her committed or try to call somebody she, this chick did nothing so she, I stand behind my statement that she was the worst sister ever that's just my feeling I know N you said it's N delicate I'm sorry for covering my face I wanted too many times it was I was trying to be brave anyways uh, what did you guys think of Smile did you like it did you love it do you think there should be a sequel with Joel uh, with Kyle Gallon uh, I said Gallagher the beginning. I apologize, Kyle Galner. Do you think there should be a sequel to this film with Joel as the lead, um, just dealing with the trauma? Uh, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments section. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and smash the like button or smile to the like button. <laughs> and uh, so you can let YouTube know that you're enjoying what you're watching. And I'm Andrew Flash Gordon, and this is Courtney Scott Wright. We'll see you next time.